Sometimes on a fine night, we see a variety of appearances that form in the sky. Chasms, for instance, and trenches, and blood-red colors. These two have the same cause. For we have seen that the upper air condenses into an inflammable condition, and that the combustion sometimes takes on the appearance of a burning flame, sometimes that of moving torches and stars. So it is not surprising that this same air when condensing should assume a variety of colors. For a weak light shining through a dense air, and the air when it acts as a mirror, will cause all kinds of colors to appear, but especially crimson and purple. For these colors generally appear when fire color and white are combined by superposition. Thus, on a hot day, or through a smoky medium, the stars, when they rise and set, look crimson. The light will also create colors by reflection when the mirror is such as to reflect color only and not shape. These appearances do not persist long because the condensation of the air is transient. Chasms get their appearance of depth from light breaking out of a dark blue or black mass of air. When the process of condensation goes further, in such a case we often find torches ejected. When the chasm contracts, it presents the appearance of a trench. In general, white in contrast with black creates a variety of colors, like flame, for instance, through a medium of smoke. But by day the sun obscures them, and, with the exception of crimson, the colors are not seen at night because they are dark. These then must be taken to be the causes of shooting stars and the phenomena of combustion, and also of the other transient appearances of this kind.